Hi everyone, my name is Ken Waters and I'm a Warning Coordination Meteorologist for the National Weather Service. And I'm Bianca Hernandez, a meteorologist for the National Weather Service. Every year, National Weather Service offices across the Southwest designate a week devoted to increasing awareness about the monsoon. This is because the monsoon brings the Southwest United States torrential flooding, damaging wind, dust storms, and extreme heat. In this video, we will explain what causes the monsoon and what hazards to be on the lookout for. So, what causes the monsoon season to initiate? During the late spring and early summer, the landmass of Mexico begins to heat up faster than the adjacent ocean. This causes a reversal of the seasonal winds, which in turn blows winds from the ocean onshore. We call that reversal the monsoon. When this reversal of the wind pattern sets up, it tends to push moisture up into the desert southwest. This, combined with the summer heat, tends to promote thunderstorm activity over the desert mountains. During the monsoon season, we will see periods of moisture surge fluctuating with periods of little weather. Although the climatological monsoon season runs from June 15th through September 30th, August represents the peak in monsoon flow and weather impacts for Southeast California, Southern Nevada, and Arizona. The early part of the monsoon season in June is typically drier and very hot. During this time, we tend to see more high base dry thunderstorms, which lead to dry lightning, gusty winds, and this is when fire danger is extremely high. In the middle part of the monsoon season, typically in July, the atmosphere has begun to moisten up significantly and we begin to see thunderstorm downbursts, which lead to damaging winds, dust storms, and some isolated flash flooding. As we transition to the latter half of the monsoon season in August and September, we tend to see more influence from tropical storms across the Pacific. This helps moisten up our atmosphere even more, resulting in increased flash flooding impacts. As you can see, the monsoon season is very complex and there are many different hazards associated with it. Thus, it's extremely important to follow your local National Weather Service offices to stay informed each day on the potential weather hazards. Thanks for joining us today. And make sure to stay safe this monsoon season.